So chat, we have at this point over 7,000 hours of streamed Zelda content on this channel. But one game that I have never played, that I know basically nothing about, is A Link Between Worlds. And I've heard that this game, many people consider it the best 2D Zelda game of all time. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to do an entire playthrough completely blind and see what we think. Without further ado, I will quickly want to say thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. More about them later, but let's get into it. Hello? Oh, that's in game. <laughs> I thought that was my door. Hey, Linkus, I'll be waiting outside, so get up and let's get going. I wonder if this is going to be like a complete repeat of A Link to the Past or not. I know basically nothing about this game other than the fact that there is some sort of like renting system with the items. You better head inside. My papa's waiting. I'm on my way. Oh my. The captain left without taking his new sword. You've got an errand, Linkus. Take that sword and hurry after the captain. Okay. Oh, look who's here. Welcome to the sanctuary, Linkus. The captain forgot his sword. Just a moment. I'll fetch him for you. Dampy, get in there! Dampy once heard the priest talking about a secret way into the sanctuary hidden right in my graveyard. Alright, let's see if it's just like uh, a link to the past. Uh, it's so dark. Oh. <laughs> well, I think we solved the problem of it being really dark. The path will open to the ones who light the way. Oh my god, there's no magic for the lantern either. That's super nice. Okay, we got the small key. I am happy already with one thing, which is that this cave is redesigned. I was scared it was literally just going to be the same cave layout as A Link to the Past. Okay, chat has warned me that it's very important to pick up the rupees. Wait, hold on. In A Link to the Past, it's the right side that is the real one. Crap. <laughs> it is not the right side in A Link Between Worlds. Uh-oh. My name is Yuga, and I have come here seeking nothing less than perfection. And you, my dear, are perfection. Oh, no. Okay, it is a pretty cute painting. I gotta give him that. Bah! Out of my way. No, don't take her. Yeah, true. Let's go warn Zelda. Finally, someone with a good idea in a Zelda game. I'm back to sleeping again. Oh. Hi! The name's Ravio. Ravio or Ravioli? To tell you the truth, I've been looking for a place to stay. No. No, 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 no. Zelda already stole my house in Tears of the Kingdom, okay? <laughs> my options are of course or if you insist. Here, take this. I can't pay rent yet, but it's something at least. I got a bracelet. Can I at least lift heavy things with it? You don't want it because it smells funny? Okay, fine. I'll admit that it smells like wet dog. Now, pronto, buddy, to the castle. Hurry. Ceres was turned into a what? A painting? Ceres is a descendant of the original seven sages who sealed Ganon in darkness all those years ago. This Yuga you speak of, he must be after the seven sages of our day. He surely intends to free Ganon. Oh no, when I heard rumors of a strange man lurking near the Eastern Palace, I sent my pupil, Osfala, to investigate. Could you hurry to Osfala to tell him everything, please? Okay. I already need to go and get a bow? Are you kidding me? Are you an adventuring type? Then I have got items for you. Saw my signs at the Eastern Palace, did you? Remind you of anything? Like maybe this? Oh, that's so cute! His hat is on the bow! I really like that. What is that? This is the energy gouge. It depletes when you use Revali's items and recharges over time. I don't have ammo, but I have an energy bar. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me drag my item over. I really hope, by the way, I get a second button to equip items. Because so far, I only have one button. I can only use the Y button. I can't use X. This is the first dungeon. Like, in A Link to the Past. Okay, part of me loves that I don't have to worry about picking up arrows. Part of me doesn't like it. It's strange. I can't quite decide how I feel about it. That was a bit of a troll. Okay, I'm gonna hold... What? 
You got some monster guts? What kind of a collectible is that? Okay, and then we got the dungeon chest. Wait, are we even gonna get an item? I already have the bow. Oh, it's just a big key. Okay, let's see the first boss. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. No! It is a really good looking painting. I don't mean to keep supporting this evil guy, but it is a really good looking painting. I guess I have to let him get away from me or he doesn't jump out. Oh God, I'm gonna die. I have one heart. Okay. You forced my hand. I must brush. Oh, I'm gonna be a painting too? Oh, sick. You can rot here for all I care. <gasps> okay, my eyes moving there are kind of creepy. But I guess the bracelet will save us. Let's go! Wait, that was Ravier's bracelet? That was in Zelda's? Well, I'm glad the item that smelled like a wet dog saved us. It seems that now you can merge into walls. I do really like the sound it makes as I'm walking. Okay, we're back inside. How do I already have 520 rupees going out of the first dungeon? How many rupees does this game give you? Yoga has taken us follow too? And dad, fine, said he was going after Princess Zelda next. We must let that happen. What was that? What? Wait, what the hell is going on to the castle? These... Abominable? Who speaks like this? These crazy events are an echo of what happened all those years ago. Then, when the castle was in the grip of evil, the hero of the day found the Master Sword. The hero first had to claim the three pendants of virtue to prove himself worthy of the blade. What's that? You're wearing. That's the pendant of courage. You got the pendant of courage. All right, you got it. I'm gonna do it. You missed an important part? Impossible. I read all of the text. Also, what does this sign say? Do not enter. Do not blow up wall. Very strange creature inside. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, I know it's in there. I don't know what you get, but I know about the Mai Mice. Hold up a second, Greeny. Take this thing. I can call a ring at any time. Been seeing those weather veins all over the place. You just ring the bell and I'll fly you to any of those you found. Oh, quick warping. This early in the game? Giga chat. Let's try it. That's so cute. Whee. Okay, nice. He's so strong. What? You want to try too? Raw. Feels good smashing stuff. Here, take this. We got the power glove. Now you can pick up small rocks. I'm confused by how fast I'm getting some of these items. I feel like I might beat the game soon. We're so fast. Okay, I guess I'm not strong enough for the big rock. Oh my god, I'm losing so much health because this is not hard. It's a test of patience. I don't have patience. I keep running through. Maybe I can swap my bow for a hammer? Ravioli? I'm on my way. I think we're gonna keep calling him Ravioli from now on. Oh my goodness, what happened to my home? Where's my bed? How about you rent me your house and I'll rent you lots of items. If you fall in battle, my pal will come. He will swoop in, collect my stuff while you just lie there. So he comes in, swoops up, takes the items and leaves me for dead? Okay, well, I need the hammer. It's only 20 bucks. It's only worth renting more if you're absolutely sure you're not going to die. Okay, then I'll rent the bombs as well. Because I'm sure I won't die. That is true. I should be getting these items for free since I'm not charging them any rent. That's a good point. I kind of like the smiley faces. I don't like that they get so sad though when you smash them. It's a big boy. Whoa! Oh, I hate these enemies. You bounce so much when you hit them. Yo, we got the compass. I love getting the compass early in dungeons, so you're sure you don't miss any items. Uh-oh. Wait. Huh? Oh, I see. Uh-oh. Ooh! 
Oh my god, I could just feel my entire body just like mm, right there, clenching. Oh, I was so close. Super surprised you never played this game before. I think you guys underestimate how much I hate handhelds. Once I became an adult, the 3DS absolutely destroyed my hands. And I didn't play this game as a kid. Just couldn't do it, man. You've got to be kidding me. No, this literally makes me feel like I'm playing the original A Link to the Past. And I'm in the same dungeon this is clearly inspired by. Because you fall down on that one as well all the time. If you're bad like me. Okay, here we go, chat. Time for the boss. Whatever we do, let's not die. It literally reused the same boss. Are you kidding me? Hamburger with lettuce is back. Oh my god, I cannot get the last hit in. Okay. Just yes. giga chat. Five hearts. You got the pendant of power. It makes you feel very powerful. Let me see the blue one. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to where you bought the flippers in the original game and see if it's still there in A Link Between Worlds. Because there's been a little bit of an overlap so far in the game. I want to see if things like that also are overlapped or if it's changed. Wait, who's this guy? Hello? Out of my way! The queen, the queen, please help! Somebody help! What is happening? I can't believe that guy came in and stole the smooth gem right from under our gills. The queen needs to contain her power. She's just playing stuck until we get her smooth stone back somehow. Our poor queen. Okay, I think I know what to do. I think I need to get the thing back. Oh my god, there he is. You, where'd you come from? I didn't know that stone was that precious. I'm sorry, I already sold it to that guy over there. I couldn't help taking it. My boots help me run so fast that I've been stealing everything that I've nailed down. But here, you take these boots. Yes! Thank you! Now we can start robbing people. Oh. Alright, am I gonna get the flippers now? Let's go! Maybe this will change when I get further into the game. But I have to say, I think that I am having an easier time getting through the early parts of this game because I played a lot of A Link to the Past. For example, I would have never thought about going up here if I hadn't already played A Link to the Past. So when I couldn't get the flippers, I was like, oh, okay, let's go up top right. But so far, I feel like I'm getting quite a lot of help. I'm really scared that I'm going to die and lose all my items. I think I might actually just quit the game if I do that. So I better just never die. Okay, what do I do here with this item? Okay, sure. Now, before we enter this next dungeon, I quickly got to pay the bill somehow. So let's thank today's video sponsor for making this possible, which is Squarespace. Now, if y'all have ever been interested in a certain website for literally any reason, maybe to host videos, a hub for your social media accounts, or even to run your own business, then Squarespace has got you covered. Because setting up a website with Squarespace is so easy, there's nothing to code, nothing to install, it's all super easy and online. And it's all thanks to their incredible in-house fluid engine, which simply lets you just drag things where you like them, customize it however you want, and it's done. And if you want to make things even simpler, then you can have professional templates that are already up on their website that you can choose from, and then maybe just tweak a couple of things here and there to fit it to your liking. And this website can truly host anything you want. Maybe videos, maybe a store, or if you want to sell merch as a content creator, they take care of production and shipping for you. And if you want to try Squarespace for yourself today, then you can sign up for a free trial today by going over to squarespace.com slash linka7 and make sure to use promo code linka7 to get 10% off of your order. So check it out today. Click the link in the description. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the video. I'm really getting annoyed at only having one item slot. <laughs> I really wish you weren't using a 2DS for this stream. The 3D is just amazing. I am telling you this. When I bought my original 3DS, I used the 3D feature for the first week to test it. And then I never touched the slider ever again. But I do know some people legitimately loved it though. It's not me, dude. Not my cup of tea.
Hold on, I need to cook. I feel like this ring is super sus, but like there's nothing here. I think my game is glitched. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god. I completely forgot to look if I could go here. Oh! I need iron boots, man. This whole dungeon would be solved with some iron boots. I can't believe you never played this game. You used to be my favorite on the 3DS. You know what's dumber about me never having played this game? The 3DS I have owned and that I've used my entire time is the 3DS XL A Link Between Worlds Edition. And the game came with it for free. And yet I never played it. Okay. Real talk, what do you think that the next Nintendo console is going to be called? I don't know. They're probably going to name it something stupid like the Nintendo Star. Like, I love Nintendo, but I have no faith in them when it comes to the naming consoles. What is this guy doing? Oh, I'm supposed to hit him. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot more sense. GG. So far, zero deaths. And we officially have six hearts. What level of completion are you going for? Realistically, knowing how I work, I'm not going to 100% it, but I'm going to try and get like almost everything that I can, but I won't get all of them. Now that you have all three pendants of virtue, you have proven yourself worthy of the Master Sword. You will find the blade deep within the Lost Woods. Go now. Claim what is rightfully yours. Okay, I'm gonna look around to see if I can get some, like, hearts or stuff before I get the Master Sword and continue to progress through the game. Because I feel kind of underleveled right now. I love that his beanies and all the items. Even the bomb has it. My, my. My, oh my. What business have... <laughs> I can't do that. We were on a great voyage through all the worlds. Then I lost sight of my little Mai Mais. All 100 of my babies! Could you find all of them? Of course. Do I get things progressively as I'm finding them? Incrementally progressively? Okay. Then I'll walk like every 10 or something. Starting today, you can buy my items too and at a really good price. If you act now, your first purchase is half price. I think I'm just going to get the most expensive stuff. Let's get the fire rod. 600, man. Oh, okay. Have you found the Master Sword yet, Linkus? I see. Then you must be brave to the death. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, I guess let's go and pick up the Master Sword. Oh, Giga Chad. Look at that. You got the Master Sword. A blade for a true hero. It fires a beam when you are at full health. <laughs> What was that strange laugh in my ear? Go to Hyrule Castle. Oh my god, the music is so sick! I get chills. I love Zelda. Zelda is so good. Okay, before I go to Hyrule Castle, I need to ask one thing. Am I currently able to get my second button unlocked? I can, okay. Is it from an NPC that I have already talked to? Golly, it's time to come home. You must not be able to hear me. Oh, I hope he hasn't gotten himself lost in the woods down south. Do we help him? No. I guess I never found the kid after the start of the game, huh? Oh, here it is. Oh, Linkus. Wait, did you just find that pouch? I made it for you so you could carry more items. Oh my god, it was here this whole time? I could have gotten it from the start. Why the hell is using a button an item? I hear a Mai Mai here. That's seven. Let me go to the right. I feel like before I go and like do the next thing in the game, I feel like I can get 10 of them. All right, let's see. What do we get from 10 Mai Mais? I can make something of yours nicer. Please give it to Mother Mai Mai. Let's try it then. What is happening? The fire rod is more powerful. That looks sick. That's so cool. That is a long fire beam. Now there's no time. Strike down the barrier. Oh, Giga Chat. You took so long to get here, Link. Cause Zelda is definitely dead. Damn. Run, Zelda. Oh, you're going to make for a spectacular painting, my dear. No! Zelda! And then there's you, worm. How did you manage to escape that wall? 
Farewell for the last time. I don't quite understand how to tell which one is the real one. I need to study more. Hold on. Oh, that's that one. I bore of this fight. Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay. I think it's safe to say I'm in a dark world. <laughs> you arrived just in time. No, not all the sages. I will use the sages to reach the one who shall help me attain ultimate power. Ganon! Not Ganondorf. Behold, the Triforce of Power. Can I say a quick thing? I feel like this is a big mistake because knowing Ganon, he would just throw this person aside. Even if they revive them, he does not care, you know? Join with me. Let us destroy all ugliness in this world. Oh, I guess he has combined into one being. I guess never mind. Whoa. What the hell is this? Evil Zelda? Welcome to Loroli? My name is Princess Hilda, and I have failed you in every way. I knew Yuga planned to slip into your world to abduct Zelda and the sages. I couldn't stop him. I cannot hold him back much longer, so I must see you to safety. Ah. Holy shit, I just got teleported! I'm afraid I must ask you to do what I cannot. Defeat the beast. You must steal those paintings back. The secret of Yuga's defeat lies in uniting your friends. Farewell, hero of Hyrule. We shall meet again. Quick theory? You know the guy who lives in my house that I call Ravioli? He also wears a purple outfit, kind of like the color scheme of her. So like, I wonder if he is from this world, if he is from Laurel. How was your nap? Now that you're awake and I see you're okay, you can see yourself to the door. Go on now. Well, seems like everyone is really kind over here. It is I, Princess Hilda. The seven sages you seek spread across my land, locked away in dungeons. To reach them, you must first find a way back to Hyrule. From various parts of your world, you can reach the same part in mine. Farewell, and be careful out there, Linkus. Okay, let's go to my house. Linkus, is that really you? You're alive? I see, so you guys become evil itself in a kingdom of shadows. His evil has spread even here. For just after you vanished into Hyrule Castle, a quake shook the kingdom. It left fissures? Whatever. The future of Hyrule Kingdom is in your hands, Linkus. Oh, so all these pillars that have that symbol, I can turn into the dark world now, okay. That makes sense. Yo, we got a new heart container, nice. I'm stuck on the mountain, way past the Tower of Hera, and I could really go for some premium milk. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go and get some premium milk, whatever that means. I'm gonna be honest, when you're exploring the overworld, you really get a lot of rupees. I could almost buy another item again. This spot seems super sus as a weird place to enter the dark world. I'm gonna try it right here. Not far from here is a maze built to contain the power of fire. You must find a way to control the flames. Okay, I definitely need the ice rod for this. So, I presume this game is similar to some other Zelda games where you technically can almost do any order you want, but there is an intended order in terms of difficulty. Oh, the difficulty balancing is better in this one, so it's not as, like, quote-unquote forced. Nice. I kind of like that it's open, then. That's cool. Let's go back to our house, buy the ice rod, get the Mai Mai upgrade, and then let's go and do our dungeon. Wait, where's the witch? Oh, she's also a sage? I did not realize that. All right, let's upgrade the ice rod now. All right. Wait, I got a letter about a guy, though, who needed my help with some premium milk. Oh, whatever, I'll do it after the dungeon. Chat, remind me about premium milk mountain guy. Oh, God, I just realized this is literally Turtle Rock. Worst dungeon in the original Link to the Past. Hope it's not in this one. I like every dungeon in this game. I will let you know once I'm further in this playthrough if that is a good take or a terrible take. <laughs> What's up here? Uh-oh. What the hell? I just lost, like, all my health. Holy shit. 
Man, this dungeon definitely up to the difficulty compared to the previous dungeon I was in. The previous ones feels like child's play compared to the one I'm in right now. Okay, I got the boss key. I don't understand how I'm supposed to get to the middle part there. This is a little bit of a confusing dungeon. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, there's a room here. I didn't even see that was a room. I think I could just like throw a bomb up there. Oh, is the rest of the chest here really optional? Huh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I didn't actually think the boss was just gonna start immediately. Man, the upgraded ice rod really makes this dungeon and boss fight a lot easier. Oh god. That's my first death. At least you still have the ice rod. Yeah, at least we bought the ice rod, so we didn't have to worry about that. Okay, well, there's more chests down here. Okay. I feel like this is almost made... It's almost a circle right here. So my guess is that I need to kill one more set of enemies. Because last time I killed enemies... Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. We got the Hylian shield. What the hell is the Hylian shield doing in a random chest in a random dungeon like this? All right, let's see if we can do this now. Oh God, he's doing multiple attacks. Oh no, if he hits me one time, I'm dead. Oh God. Okay. Dude, the fact that it dealt three hearts per hit, it basically means three hit KO is brutal. Is that a Rito? Or does that say just have a really big nose? Wait, that's Impa? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you must find the remaining sages. Please rescue the rest of us, Linkus. Oh yeah, premium milk guy. Thank you for the reminder. I literally forgot about milk guy. Thank you, chat. Yeah, I think this is the milk bar. He's a tricky customer. Sorry to ask, but could you take this premium milk to him? Dude, that is so 100% alcohol. I think he said the next expedition would take him east of the Tower of Hera. I'm pretty sure it uses the hook shot up there. So I think I need to go and get the hook shot. Actually, I'll buy the hook shot. And then in case I need these, because these are kind of nice to have. I'll rent them because they're quite cheap. Honestly, because I'm trying to find all the chests in dungeons, the whole re renting system is really not as bad as I thought. Okay. They said east of Tower of Hera, I'm pretty sure. So it should be over here somewhere. Holy sh... This is a strong enemy. That is such a waste. I could have just literally been more careful. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to get any of them. I'm just going to go up. I just got... I already have the hook shot. Okay, maybe he's in this cave, because he said east. What the hell is this? Oh, fuck. J Leave me alone, Lionels. Oh, is that him? Did I find him? Wait, is that what I think it is? Milk? And not just any milk, but some premium milk? Gimme. Take this garbage away. I got a bottle. I appreciate the bottle, but like... I need a net to catch things in. Do you have the bottle be useful? It's true. We did help out Milk Guy. And that is all that matters. You're right. Well, while I'm down here, let me enter the dark world. Here's always winter. Oh. Ooh, nice feather statue. Let's activate that. Okay, well, we got access to another dungeon. I'm not going to start it right now, I don't think. But we got access to it at least. I really badly want to find the net. Not having a net in a game like this is so bad. Kakarika has some good checks. I'll go back and check. Maybe something unlocked after I got the Master Sword. Is that a bee? Been catching bees since way back. Oh my god, am I about to get the net? Thank you. I don't know if I want to actually help him catch bees, but I'll definitely use them to catch fairies. All right, now I shouldn't die anymore. All right. All right, let's do one more upgrade with the Mai Mai. Nice. I do love that not only does it upgrade it, but it also gives like its own custom like model. You know what I mean? Okay, chat, let's go ahead and enter the dark dimension. And then we'll do the dungeon. Let's do the next dungeon. This is kind of a clever way to make sure you have the fire thingy before you enter. 
Oh my god, even the floor has ice physics. I already hate this dungeon, and I'm not even five minutes in. I hate ice physics. Oh my god, wait, wait. How far down does this go? What? Okay, well, I guess I found the boss key. Oh my god, I need to be more careful. Wait, did I just get more stamina? Nice! Oh, that's a pretty big upgrade, too. Okay, let me enter this room here. Maybe I can do something here that I missed the first time. Oh, wait, also, I can actually catch these fairies now. It's okay, I didn't want the fairies anyways. It just make it too easy. I definitely remember these enemies. I remember these enemies very well from A Link to the Past. Wait, in A Link to the Past, these enemies get one shot by the hook shot. I wonder if that's still true in this game. It is not true. Oh my god! They deal so much damage! Okay, that was something. This dungeon is so confusing. Okay, so thankfully that key also then would go to the same location where the fairies are. Would you rather this dungeon, Great Bay Temple, Water Temple OT, Lake Bed, Tower of the Gods, or Turtle Rock? Man, that is a list of some great dungeons. I might actually prefer Water Temple slightly more than this one. I'm not even kidding. Oh my god, it's done. Why does even the boss have to have ice physics? Okay, first phase done. I'm kind of just tanking it because I know I have fairies, but it's definitely not the best idea. Thank God for fairies. Oh my goodness. Oh, get out of there. Oh, thank God. I never want to do this ice temple dungeon ever again. Screw ice mechanics in like any video game ever. All right, nice. Heart container. Okay, let's go and get our second sage. Wait, this guy? This is the guy who gave us the original uh, bracelet so we could lift the rocks. Oh, hi. Find the rest of the seven sages, okay? Yeah, I apparently basically did almost like the two like end game dungeons. <laughs> like two of the harder dungeons. It's taking the open world, but like some of the dungeons are easier than others. Oh, lovely Zelda. What it is like to be a princess from a kingdom blessed by so many happy endings. We all deserve a happy ending, don't we? I can only hope that Linkus is victorious. I got you. Okay, let's go into the actual village in uh, Low Rule. I haven't done that yet. Our hideout entrance, knock or scram. Who's there? Nobody gets past me unless you know all the words to the Ultra Seeker Thief password song. A smart thief fears the boss wrath. I'd rather be on cliff walking a narrow path. Sometimes it hurts too much to care. You think knowledge is a power, but it's really... Every time I say I'm a leaving, this accurate life sets me right back to thieving. Whoa, I actually got it. I was like, the only one I wasn't sure about was the second one. Okay. I'm a thief. Wait, is this literally a dungeon? I'm not doing this right now. Well, if it's supposed to be a password that you need to do a side quest to obtain the password, they shouldn't have made the password literally the only ones that rhyme. Wait, all of them rhymed? Wait, am I just bad at rhyming and got lucky? Oops. Oh, man. For 200 rupees? Oh, a piece of heart? God damn it, I'll do it. Dude, my odds are terrible. I guess, trust me, it's the bottom right. Okay, I like you. Top row second, Linkus. Oh my god. Okay, we might not have found the heart piece yet, but we are making some serious money. Okay, I'm gonna go for the middle one. I feel like the middle one is good. My prediction was bad. Wait, there were only two 300 rupees and we nailed both of them? It is more rare that we got those two than a heart piece. All right, let's play again. I'm gonna do the middle row. Okay, here we go. Oh, -ho -ho! let's go! Second try. That is not bad for a one and five. We take those. 
That is a big bomb flower. Holy. Want the big bomb flower? Lucky you. I'm lending that power for a one time fee. Use it for hours and hours. Borrow row. Throw rupees into the fountain. I hate these. I'm scared it's a scam. Okay, I'll do the 200, but I feel like I'm going to get scammed. That's it? I gotta heal? I'm gonna go broke! Bro, I'm already full health! It's 3,000 in total? Oh my god, I wish I knew that before. I wouldn't even have tried. I would have focused on buying items. Oh, whatever. Is there anywhere else that's useful to take this bomb? Oh! It actually blocks the entrance here? For one of the dungeons, huh? Okay. All right. Well, we opened up another dungeon. We have opened up two dungeons right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's get 50 Mai Mais and let's buy one more item. Here we go. The 50th. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, we got 50. Okay, let's buy one more item. Let's buy the hammer this time. Nice. We only have to buy two more items. This one we still can't get yet. I think I'll do hammer. Nice. Okay, let's go and immediately start trying one thing out. I have to check out the baseball minigame. People have continuously said that the baseball is a really good minigame. 50 bucks, okay. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I can't angle left and right, though. I can only do forwards and backwards. How do I hit the sides? Oh, I do it super late, I guess. What the hell? Is there a price for getting a high score here? A hundred? Oh my god, this is gonna be awful. No! I have to hit it! No! So close! Do you think I'm enjoying this chat? You think I'm throwing this on purpose because I'm having fun doing this baseball thing? Yes! Yes! Oh my god. I'm gonna grab something special for that effort. We take those. We take those. Okay. I think I'm gonna go and buy my next item, chat, and then enter the next dungeon. Okay, so the only item I'm missing to buy now is boomerang. Well, I guess in this, like, sand thingy. All right, let's do the next dungeon, chat. Oh my goodness, the music. Oh, I probably need the ice rod equipped here. Oh, never mind. I thought I could, like, make ice platforms. So I guess I can't. I Zelda knowledge have failed me. Whee! It's a really cool dungeon so far with the puzzles. I really like these water slides. Oh, mini boss? I... Oh, I can interrupt his electricity by hookshotting him? Oh god, a bunch of small ones. Okay, nice. That was not that bad of a mini boss. And we get a shortcut to the beginning of the dungeon. I'm a little bit sad that I'm not getting like any items from these things, but I actually, in a strange way, appreciate the renting slash buying item system. Like I am sad that I don't get any like super sick items when I, you know, beat a boss or a mini boss. But at the same time, I really love that it is completely open world. I think it's been really fun that I can just kind of go to any dungeon. And even though like, yes, some dungeons are clearly harder, it's not like impossible. Oh no, is this like a water temple kind of a thing? Oh no, are you kidding me? The blue tunic, half damage. That is a huge find. And best of all, we are Ikea colors. Proud Swede right here. Linkus, do you own an Ikea jungle skog? Oh, we do own a, an Ikea jungle skog in our apartment, yes. I think they sell them in the States now, right? Do you own a blue high? Of course. Okay, a small key. Do some wind. And boss key. 
Okay, let's drop down here. We have a few more chests here that we need to get. Okay, the water is at the correct level, but I don't know how, because this thingy here, I think it's just a hookshot target. Okay. Let's go down here. What's in this room? Maybe this does something. Excuse me? Oh, maybe I kill this guy and then I throw the shell at it. Got him. Okay. Wait, can I blow this platform around? Wait, I understand. Nice. This is a really cool dungeon. I really like this dungeon so far. Yeah, I can't believe there's a water temple I don't hate. <laughs> I do think actually now when I think about it, I think the water temple in Link's Awakening is also not bad. But it maybe it's just something about water dungeons and handhelds. Because it's not like a third perspective. So they're not making us do terrible swimming in water back and forth things. Okay, I think that's everything. We can go and go to the boss now. I gotta say, not a complaint, just like an observation. The more Zelda games I play, the more I realize they love some of these bosses. They use them in every game, you know what I mean? I feel like this specific dungeon boss has been in almost every game. Even Majora's Mask with only four dungeons has this as a mini boss. Like this is one of these designs that Nintendo just loves. And GG. That was a really fun dungeon. Honestly, I would give that dungeon like a 9 out of 10. That was the best water dungeon I have ever done. You must rescue every one of the seven sages. Only together can we help you defeat this great evil. All right, three out of seven. How am I liking the game so far? This is definitely a contender for best 2D Zelda game so far. This might actually take the number one spot if it continues to be this good. But either way, I think that's going to be it for today. Stay tuned for part number two, where we're not only going to complete the game, but 100% it as well. I'm really looking forward to it, Dad. So that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate that. And if you want to watch these live, you can check out my Twitch channel. If you want to see two more awesome videos, you can click on the screen right now. But that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Bye-bye.